Hi, my name is Simon Liu and I'm a residential realtor with Happy Homes Vancouver and Keller Williams Realty Grand Central in Vancouver, BC. Today, we're going to talk about these pesky holes that we have find on the walls when we remove something. We're going to talk about how to cover them, how to fix them and patch them properly. All we're going to need from you is a little bit of your time, some effort and minimal tools. There's not much skill required and you really can't screw up. So let's get started. So as we can see on this wall, we just removed a cabinet that was there as a medicine cabinet. We found a whole wall of goodies. Uh, every single thing that can possibly happen to your wall except going through it. So we have here screw holes from when you put a screw into the wall. We have little pin holes everywhere. There are, there's a scratch probably from when the, something slipped, maybe when we took it out. There are anchor holes that are a lot bigger. And then there's a, what we have is uh, something stuck to the wall with some uh, glue. And the least of our concerns are these marks, pencil or pen that we often get when we're putting things together. So what we have here is a, an anchor hole. It's a close up. So you can see sometimes these anchor holes are a lot bigger hole. Um, it's used to, they're, they're installed so that you can ha hang heavier things on such as a medicine cabinet. Uh, when you pull them out, you sometimes get the insulation behind the wall coming out. So usually what we're gonna have to do is push these back in. So this is a handy tool to use. So we'll push this as far in as we can. Sometimes you need two hands because they're actually pretty stubborn. Okay, so that's back into the wall. And now you got all this paint chip and everything around it. So we're gonna clean it up a bit. We're going to clean it so that the putty will stick. So sometimes we make the wall big for the hole bigger, but that's necessary so that everything sticks and doesn't come off in the future. Okay, so we're going to blow that clean and uh, we'll apply the putty. So now that we have it all cleaned up, uh, all the dust has been removed from the hole and as smooth as we possibly can make it, we're going to take a big glob of putty, which is uh, Spackling. This is the pink stuff. It tells you when it's dry once it turns white. So we're just going to shove it in there. Now you don't want to use this if you're planning to use the same hole for anything heavy. But this is good for just smoothing out a wall. And so you're going to put enough so that it covers the hole. And you can always sand this off, so don't be afraid to use too much. Because sometimes we require two coats because of bubbling. And that's okay too, so it doesn't need to be smooth, it just needs to cover the hole. And then you set it after. Okay. okay, so here we're going to work on this section here. Uh, you can see this is the anchor hole. We've got the screw hole again and then the score, right? So what we're going to do is clean everything up. We're going to push whatever we can into the hole and then chip away any old paint so that everything sticks. This is a multi-tool that we're using here and it's very good for painting and little jobs. So it's got a knife edge we can cut stuff away with. And then now we're working to score. We're going to cut it a little bit wider. That's to get rid of the old paint again. Now we have all these little pinholes, so we don't need to worry too much about them as long as it's smooth. Next, we're going to apply a generous amount of spackling. It comes in a little tub. These are very cheap to, to buy, so don't so be generous with it. And, uh, once it dries, you won't get to use it anyway, so use as much as you want. Just going to push it into every everywhere we need and smooth it out as much as we can. We want to go a little bit above the holes because we're going to sand it after and smooth that out later. But again, don't be concerned by using too much. So next we have 
hook that's been stuck on the wall with some double-sided tape. If we're lucky, we can get that off without damaging the paint in the back, but likely we're probably going to peel the paint off. There it is. That's exactly what happens. That's okay, because this is a patching video. We're going to show you how to fix that. So we're going to smooth out the edges. And we're going to again use the spackling and fill the hole and smooth it out. The key is to overshoot the size of the hole so that you can just smooth it out and it'll be less visible later. Okay, this is a one hour trying, so we'll come back and sand it up. Okay. Now that we have the wall all patched up and uh, the spackle has dried, uh, we're going to sand it and then prepare it for primer. What that means is that we're going to clean up our, all the dust. We're going to use uh, something called a tack cloth, which we'll show you in a bit. Right now, we're just gonna get, get on sanding. So stay tuned. tuned. I forgot to tell you, put a mask. So, have the wall all sanded and gone ahead and vacuumed up all the dust. Next step is to use this tack cloth. It's a sticky cloth that will get the minor, like the micro dust off the wall so we can paint it and prime it. So, get that opening. And uh, we'll do it like this. Okay, so now that we have wall all prepped, so just to recap, we have puttied, we sanded and then we wiped it clean with a tack cloth so there's no dust left on it. The next step for us is to apply some primer. So we're going to apply primer over pen marks, all the patched spots and then anywhere else that we feel like it's not going to have, it's going to have trouble sticking and we'll just put the primer on. So let's do that. So now that the primer has dried and the wall is nice and smooth, you can see it, it's, uh, you feel it, it's all good, there's no more bumps. And we're going to start painting and then show you the finished product. Okay, it's been 24 hours and the paint has now dried and you can see behind me the wall is smooth all the holes are covered and the pen marks are gone it's now ready for you to do whatever you want with it uh, this process did take some time but it wasn't much time in total it was about one hour of uh, actual labor it was very easy and anyone can do it thank you for watching